Jeff Rawson is the founder of The Scout, which is a daily news site and email service highlighting events in southeast Missouri. The Scout also encompasses the Scout Sessions, a video series highlighting local musicians, and Scout Hall, which hosts events and businesses throughout downtown Cape Area. Jeff, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, man. That's, a, that's kind of a mouthful. That's a lot, yeah. The, the, from what I know of how The Scout kind of began or the idea behind it, it's, it's obviously grown. It continues to grow, yeah. It, uh, I moved to the area about 10 years ago now, which is kind of wild to think about. Um, and the Scout started as this idea of just sharing what's good um, and kind of beautiful from Southeast Missouri and kind of the Midwest in general. Um, sure. It started as this daily email product and has kind of blossomed into all these different things we have going on today. So do you, do, do you provide all the content for that daily email? <laughs> yeah, it started, um, I wrote the first one from the library, just like uh, the public library. Okay. Um, but uh, now we still write that daily, but now we get a lot of submissions from the community, people telling us about cool things happening or interesting people we should meet. Nice. Um, so it, that was always the goal, was it would really be community driven in terms of content, so we get a lot of help from folks in the community. So it's, it's slowly kind of writing itself, so to speak. Yeah, the, the faster it would do that, the better. <laughs> um, so as we mentioned again in the, in the intro, you know, the idea, I think one of the ideas you told me at some point too was, you know, you wanted to bring people together. You wanted to have something uh, that would, you know, give families and, and just people in general in our area, you know, something to do or a reason to come together. And there's kind of a couple avenues now that the Scout has branched off into which uh, have provided that. And one of those is the, is the Shipyard Fest. Um, how many years are we going now? We're on year five. Year five yeah, already. Yeah. Uh, so maybe just talk briefly about how that came to be, how Shipyard Fest came to be, and how the Scout, you know, has played a role in that. Sure. Yeah. The um, I mean, through the Scout, we we really talk a lot about just what's good and positive in the area, um, and what brings people together. And then we really found it's it's food and music. Those are the things that everyone sure. can kind of get behind. Um, and so we we had this idea back in 2018. Um, that the scout would eventually do these community events, kind of small events, and eventually build into this large kind of outdoor music fest. Um, and then we decided to flip that and just start with the music fest. So that was our first big event back in 2018. Uh, it was a one-day event at the time. It's now a two-day event in September. And that started uh, really on the backside of where we're at today and is moved into a, a bigger space you kind of outgrew your area and you're, you're in a bigger space now in downtown Cape. yeah we started here um, uh, in Ivor Square and the kind of streets behind the office here and then um, two years after that we moved out to Century Casino on the property there which has been wonderful they're great hosts uh, but we needed the space we now have thousands of people that come to the area um, each fall for this event so along those lines uh, you have scout sessions as well and I know that's a feature that you do with, with musicians, uh, really in a, in a way that is unique. Uh, you seem to kind of pick spots in, in our yeah. area that you want to utilize to go and basically record a music video. Yeah, that, was, that started just um, you know, kind of on the heels of Shipyard, kind of at that time, was looking at how to showcase um, kind of local and Midwestern singers and songwriters. Um, so we record these kind of intimate, um, you know, uh, live but offstage performances with folks in, in kind of iconic but lesser known places here uh, here in the Midwest. And you've you've had people and obviously you've focused on some uh, local performers but I know you've been moving out some and getting submissions from people kind of from all around. Yeah we have people reaching out to us now wanting to, to record videos with us and then during Shipyard of course we have touring acts coming from across the country and we like to grab some of those guys and and record them in, in live sessions here in Cape, which is a lot of fun. Are there any particular, whether it be Shipyard or, or Scout Sessions, are there, do you have your eye on a certain type of performer that you like to either have at Shipyard Fest or highlight on the Scout Sessions? Not really, I think the, um, you know, Shipyard is, is really a multi-genre festival. So we like a lot of different sounds. We like to um, provide uh, a variety for people to to be comfortable with, but at the same time explore something maybe they hadn't listened to in the past. And you're starting to see that more in the, the Scout Session videos now too. So Shipyard, uh, have, you, have you announced when the next one will be? Yeah, this year, uh, September 22nd and 23rd, 
um, at Century Casino. Okay. Uh, a lot more announcements coming here within about the next month. Like maybe who will be performing? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we won't we won't pry on that. Then. Yeah, we'll get there. And then if you have driven down Broadway, uh, there's a new building, uh, an old building that's been that I know a lot of blood, sweat, and tears has gone into called Scout Hall, and again another branch of the Scout bringing people together. Tell us a bit about Scout Hall. Sure. So when I when I came to Cape, I actually. Um, came here for a job with, with Rust Media and the Rust family, um, who've been wonderful in supporting the Scout and all the things that we've been building for the past nine years. Um, that property on Broadway, Scout Hall, is a, a multi-use uh, facility now, three restaurants, a boutique, there are um, apartments there, um, and opening very soon will be two venues, a venue in the lower level and then a venue outside uh, for live music, um, again, bringing folks together, uh, other programmed events that we'll build there. Um, and, and touring music having a place in Cape. So is the goal uh, of the venue you mentioned downstairs to have regular music or just more like highlighted events where music will be a part of that? Yeah, that's the idea is it is a uh, um, is really an entertainment driven venue of bringing comedy and music to Cape um, but then having a space um, for other cool events to happen through the Scout, we do the next project, which is um, we'll work with high school students through the area. We have a reception there next week okay. um, that will be at Scout Hall. Okay. Any other specific Scout projects that maybe don't come to mind for me that, that are yeah, out there probably, or, or that you're working on? Yeah, I should probably come up with better names because they're all just Scout <laughs> something. Um, but there's the Scout Pass. That's something we talked about not long ago, right, um, right. which is a passport book. Um, with 32 local businesses, um, you get that book and you go around to get some cool deals for places around town. So that started during COVID as a way to kind of help support our you know, favorite bars and restaurants and places we wanted to, to really support. Okay, and so is there, is there a website to go that to? That is thescoutpass.com. Thescoutpass.com. Yeah. You can get all the Scout stuff at thescoutdaily.com and that kind of takes you out to all of our different uh, projects we're working on. All right, and you got a bunch of them. A few, yeah. Jeff, we appreciate it. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you very much.